What's up guys, in this video I want to show you a demo of the latest CyanogenMod, mod which is based off the Android 4.4.4. So uh, just to prove to you guys that it is running Android 4.4 Cyanogen mod, uh, as you could see it is running 4.4.4. So as you could notice that the Cyanogen mod community is growing much faster and they're updating even sooner than some of the uh, smartphones such as the Moto G which is still running Android 4.4.2 whereas this is running Android 4.4 but this is still a nightly uh, nightly build so uh, as you could see the build number I'm just gonna show you what version I'm running uh, you could go to Cyanogen mod update to check your latest updates I have the latest updates which is still nightly version uh, if you have any question or issues check my channel because I have pretty much every single tutorial that you would need uh, I have how to install cyanogen mod from the start I also have uh, videos of how to fix a lot of things so now let's just show you a demo of how it is uh, some of the issues are still not fixed so the HW decoder problem that was previously huge is still a problem but it's uh, I got kind of used to it so uh, like right now I'm playing a video in HD I have very slow internet right here so right now it's playing in HD which is fine but if I pause the video and take a break go to bathroom or uh, take a lunch break and pause the video and I will turn the Kindle to sleep it automatically goes to sleep after a couple seconds and then after a couple seconds I wake the Kindle up now I try to play back the video and as you could see it's not gonna load uh, that's because the HW decoder problem still is a problem it is not fixed yet I really wish instead of updating it to Android 4.4.4 to the latest update they should actually fix every single problem before they completely update the Kindle so as you could see it's just not gonna happen it's not gonna load I could wait five minutes or ten minutes it's still not gonna do anything so uh, besides that, everything is fine but it's still not usable OS. For the last couple months I have been using Kinology. I will put a link in the description to uh, show you how Kinology runs which is based off the normal Kindle OS with some modification that makes it a lot better. So I'm going to show you how to enable developer mode because there is some option that you could do with this. So to enable developer uh, mode you have to hit the build number about seven times and uh, after that happens after it's gonna say uh, you have enabled developer mode and after you have enabled developer mode you could do multiple things first of all you will be able to overclock the processor which is the OMAP 4460 it normally runs at 1.2 gigahertz but I am able to overclock it to 1.5 gigahertz so that will give you a better experience but it will run a little hot so I keep it at 1.2 gigahertz uh, there's also other developer option that I usually tweak because there is other problem. So on the developer option, I usually disable HW overlay. Uh, that's because uh, if I connect the Kindle to a HDMI TV or uh, a HDMI monitor using the micro HDMI cable, it usually has problem when I play Netflix and try to stream the Netflix to the TV. It usually lags out or the quality isn't good. So when I when I disable the HW overlays uh, it basically mirrors the Kindle completely uh, and uh, that results in a very smooth experience besides that everything is still the same uh, with the new framework uh, with Android 4.4 uh, I usually have expanded desktop enabled which means that I'm able to hide the uh, soft buttons below that means I'm able to have more screen real estate and I could just uh, drag my finger from the bottom of the screen and it works very well uh, Let's just show you a uh, Demonstration of gaming. Let's do Temple Run 2. I don't really play games on Android and This is a game that I've played a long time kind of fun It does require a little bit of time to load Right now you're gonna see a lot of games that's that works very well in the Cyan Engine mod so it's show you as you could see the graphics are pretty good uh, there is no lag 
you could see the water physics working fine. Uh, the accelerometer works perfectly on the left and right. So you're gonna see much more uh, compatibility with the games as of now. But there is still a problem. This is not a stable build. This is still a nightly build. So you're still going to have a lot of problems. This is the reason why I still do not recommend getting Cyanidron mod as of now because you're gonna see a lot more update pretty soon. I really hope the developer uh, and the Cyanidron mod community uh, try to make a stable build instead of trying to uh, instead of trying to just get the latest Android version, which is right now is 4.4.4. And right now I am running the uh, July 16th build, so. Uh, they have been updating about a couple times a week so you're gonna get a lot of updates and small bugs are fixed but the main issue which is the HW decoder it's still not fixed. Uh, if you're trying to run another ROM I definitely recommend Kinology. Kinology does have a couple bugs but it's still the superior OS. It is based off the normal stock Kindle OS but you get lower fonts, uh, much more stable and it does have sometimes audio problem where uh, if I connect a headphone it's still gonna play through the speaker or it doesn't play at all but that could be easily fixed by opening up the headphone and putting the headphone back on so it has been a this is a demo of Android 4.4.4 running on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch thanks for watching